Hello, hello everybody to what craft we're back again with a new video by hi boy. This is treasure plans playing by an idiot. I've not seen this, but a friend of mine told me it was good, so is it good? Let's find out, yo. Now let's get on with the movie. This movie takes with place in space movie? where all intergalactic creatures, humans, animal humanoid creatures, and all other manner of fucked up beings all live together in harmony. Somewhat. You still got the Somewhat? usual crime or whatever. And this little human That's is up watching his hologram movie book with his mom uh -huh. about space pirates hiding all their loot on a secret planet until she goes, alright, enough bedtime milk. But mom, I don't wanna. <laughs> and he squirms around a little bit under this bed belt. I don't know what the fuck that is. Seems like a useless piece of cloth to me. She leaves him to sleep. He obviously does not sleep and continues reading his book. Okay, wait, wait, later. is this video at one point? Dude, what is this? Why is he talking so fast? I, I I don't mind it, but goddamn. When Jim, that's his name, grows up a little bit and is hooning around on his homemade rocket power. Oh, this is like a, a quarry or Star Wars thing, which gets him in Time. shallow shit. Not gonna say deep shit because it's not that serious. Robots? But shallow shit with robots in blue. Then back at his house that his mom is now operating as a bed and breakfast. Bro, imagine police being run by robots. Holy, that would be a shit hole. To presumably make ends meet after Jim's dad left, she hears Frogs. him knocking on the door and opens up and finds him with the cops, escorting him in, telling her her son was violating some stupid law. And first off, can we say something? Like Jim's mom has got it going on. Holy boy! Space Tom foolery somewhere. They let him go with a warning, saying that he's a mouse turd length away from ending up in juvie. He helps her clean yeah. up while she's voicing her disappointment in him. <laughs> and after a while, he ends up hanging out on the roof and overhears his mom talking shit about him to Dilbert, the Damn. scientist, dog, humanoid professor, doctor, Doggy smart style? dog guy. She's like, he's very smart, but he's failing in school. He's never been the same. Since his dad left, I'm worried, Oof. and so on and so forth. Then Jimbo sees a little spacecraft crash on their uh, space dock thing. He runs over to help and sees a fucking Ninja Turtle come out like, He's Yo. coming for me, chest me boy. Starts coughing Actual loudly because he's hurt bad, so he helps him up and into his house. His mom and Dilbert are surprised as fuck. Turtle dude opens a chest, takes out a small package, hands it to Jim and tells him, He's coming, beware of the cyborg. And then the not so the cyborg. Not Ninja Turtle dies. Jimmy looks through oh. their fake reality blind Bro. and sees a bunch First of... First off, I would not want that motherfucker to die in my house because do you see how big it is? How much of a, how big of a coffin must I get for this motherfucker? That would that would be so expensive. And the, the whole figures coming Holy. towards the house, so he rushes with his mom upstairs. While oh, these shadowy damn. figures break no in, house Jimmy anymore. and his mom and Dilbert all jump into his chariot from this window and ride off while the intruders find the dead dude and the empty chest, tear the place apart, looking Ooh. for the contents of this chest, and burn the place down. What oh. psychopath puts plates in the drawer, by the way? Anyway, they escape that is true. and make it over what to the hell is wrong with mansion. The dude is fucking minted. What the fuck is he doing in a bed and <laughs> breakfast then? Just go home if your mansion is that fucking close. Whatever, he's rich, he can do whatever he wants. Doesn't matter. Turns out, by the way, why is your roof so why is your room so tall? Like what the hell is going on in there? The intruders were pirates. The police couldn't catch him and they uh -huh. got away. Dilbert tries Space to control pirates. the mom like, they're there. I'm sorry your house is fucked. While Jim opened the small package, finds a small golden ball, fingers it a bit, until it opens up into a big hologram map Good that finger. leads to Treasure Planet. Jim and Dilbert realize that it's not just a fairy tale or a kid's story anymore. The legend is true and they're very excited about that. Jim wants to go find this planet, so does Dilbert, because he wants to do expedition explorer shit and convinces Jim's mom to let them both go, because a space adventure will be good character building for Jim and shit. And off they go to their- Wait, we're not getting the mom, but the mom's high as fuck though. Planets Crescent Moon Disappointment. They get onto the ship that Dilbert hired and meet one of the flatulent crew members. Luckily, what is that snail? Ass breath, so it communicates with him in mouth and armpit fart noises, which should not be physically possible to do in that ridiculous use of suit he's wearing. Oh, whatever. True. dog dude hired this crew and ship, the Ooh. captain who is a feline creature and the first mate who is a... God damn, brother! Okay, I'm sold. I'm watching this. Rock. Don't approve of the crew that he's chosen. They it's rock hard. Or I see people why. Or whatever. And she cautions him not to speak of the treasure around them, which is the main goal of his whole expedition. I don't know how you can hire a crew and then the captain and first mate separately. Isn't it like a package deal? Like you get the crew with a captain or is it like when you fly, pilots sometimes get paired with different crews. And never been a pirate, and shit. I really so feel I don't like know. It shouldn't be the same here because the captain and the crew should be like used to each other and trust each other. You know what I mean? At well, least consult the maybe no. From what I know, they used to hire everybody because, you know, people died, but this is the future. So I don't know if people die that often. I, it'd be weird, right? Captain and first mate on the crew you're gonna choose to see if they approve of them or not. Just seems mighty stupid hiring them separately, but whatever. The captain takes the map away from the kid for safekeeping and sends them both down to see Mr. Silver, the cook of the ship in the galley, where Jim is supposed to be working under him. Not physically, just like under his watch or control or whatever. Okay. When they get down there and meet the cook, they find out that he's a cyborg, and Jim is immediately suspicious of this, remembering the dying turtle oh, fuck told to watch out for a cyborg. But the so-called genius Dr. Dilbert does not realize or gets suspicious by this at all. Anyway, they also meet wait, 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 wait. but the so-called genius there was Dr. Something Dilbert on top. does not realize. Turtle guy did sort of whisper to Jim though, so maybe Dilbert didn't hear him. Ah, why didn't Dilbert say it? Anyway, he has more his name Dilbert, so it makes sense. Companion. Mr. Arrow, the stone guy, tells Silver that he's in charge of Jim. Silver is just as unhappy with this news as Jim is, but it's the captain's orders, so it is what it is. He then expertly avoids all Jim's questions and attempts to suss out whether he's the cyborg the turtle dude was talking about or not. Then Jim mm. goes up to watch the launch of the ship and tells no one about his cyborg suspicions. Not a single fucking soul, not even Dr. Dilbert. Really I mean, he doesn't anyway, trust them. The solar seals in charge I, of it kind of makes sense. Like, he doesn't know any of these people. Why would he trust? 
trust them for launch. Where lots and I of get inconsistencies this. in their movie logic appears, like when they turn on artificial gravity, Dilbert falling makes a bigger ruckus than literal stone dude. And when they turn on mm. the jets, Dilbert gets launched back, but Captain Katito does not budge at all. Not a single inch. Badass, even though keeping her there. On shit. Anyway, they observe the sights like these Badass. space avatar two coon whales that jizz on Dilbert's face. So Ooh. they literally pulls a mop and bucket out of his ass and throws them at Jim to put him to work. Cyborg While Jim mops away at the deck, he gets in trouble with the crew for simply looking at them while they were talking or murmuring about shit he wasn't supposed to hear. And that gets him in trouble when the spider dude was part of the crew comes along like, cabin boys should learn to mind their own business. Then maybe you shouldn't discuss evil plans out in the open like that, you dumb f It's 2024, you can't use that word. Oh yeah, classic, it's current year argument. How valid. Why, you little, then he tries to choke him on the mask. But then Ooh. Silver comes and saves him from the retard woke mob. I mean, evil. Hey, yo. That's totally what you can't use that word no more, I don't think. I don't know. And choose the rest of the crew away, then puts Jimothy back to work. Leaves Morph Damn. to keep an eye on him, then goes to have a secret meeting with this crew yelling at them, telling them he put a lot of effort into making them look like a really good crew. So Dilbert will hire Did them they? to get this. Did he do that? Because they don't look like shit far so don't be dumb geez, and blow our cover before it's mutiny time that's basically what he tells him he also tells him that he will overwork jim so hard that he won't even have any time to pay attention to what they're doing or get suspicious of them so silver knew that dilbert had the map then why not just go for dilbert immediately instead of yeah. doing this whole thing fucking dumbass he then goes back out Wait, to see wouldn't the captain notice that shit then or the first man Okay, I'm confused, guy. What the, the boy finishing up on? his mopping, I talks to him a bit, finds out that his dad left him when he was small. Silver feels kind of bad for Jim, who's like, my dad left to go get some milk and never came back. But you're not even <laughs> black. That's pretty racist, you know? I know, Yo. but don't worry. I'll take you under my wing and teach you everything <laughs> you need to know. We then cut to a montage of Silver overworking Jimbo with chores, but also teaching him cool shit. And so they're both growing fond of each other. We also get flashback shots of young Jim and his dismissive father leaving him. The montage ends with both of them taking a joyride in one of the Wait, ship's long boats. Wait, why his father kind of looks like that dude, though? Plus, I mean, this is kind of confusing me. Most so of these plots are very asteroid, easy to follow. Uh, this one's... I'm, I'm not sure what's gonna stars, happen next. Whatever the fuck scientists nice do, means. they collect some stardust. <laughs> I'm not sure if this is hazardous or not. Pretty sure it is, but in this movie's logic, it probably isn't. What I'm really wondering is, does that logic. small ship have its own artificial gravity, or are they just holding on to shit? Doesn't matter. When they come back to the bigger ship and rest a bit, it starts shaking wildly and uncontrollably, because a nearby star is going supernova, which uh, I believe is wow. a cool way to say that the star is yeah, dying. Big so boom. the crew tie a bunch of tethers to themselves as lifelines. See, even in this space movie that's super old, they know to do this. Fucking retards and other space movies don't do that. I don't know why. Anyway, they get to work securing the sails from rocks poking holes in them from the exploding star. While doing that, Jim saves oh Silver from falling off God. the ship because a star piece of debris blew off his tether Ooh. or some shit like that. Then the dying star okay. starts. Jim's strong as hell though. To what turn the into hell? A black hole and it starts to suck them in. It also starts pulsating out big blasts of energy like the star's last dying breaths. Dilbert calculates when the last and biggest one is supposed to happen and tells that to the captain. She gets an idea to ride that last blast out of there to try and escape this forming black hole before it's too late. So she orders her men to open the sails again. And while they do that, the rock dude arrow guy falls off, but her no. sister saves him. Then Spider Feet shows up, snaps the hey, rope, and throws him into the fucking black hole, kills him. While they themselves. They killed the thing from uh, Fantastic Four, bruh, no! It also gets sucked it was black cool. Also we didn't know him, but blast it looked cool. Out of there. It comes and El Catito's plan works, they ride it out of there and make it far enough away from the black hole's ah. suction radius. Obviously, we're just ignoring the fact that nothing, not even light, can escape a black hole. I'm pretty sure even if it's just forming, then the asshole arachnid comes to her reporting that they lost Boulder Guy because his lifeline wasn't Shit. secured. Jim feels super bad about that and very disappointed in himself because it was his job to secure all lifelines. Oh, he swears damn. to her that he secured them all, but the captain doesn't blame him and says a few kind words about Mr. Arrow, then pulls out her status these with these and moves on later so oh. catches jim beating himself wait she moved on real quick what the hell is she the evil one about his mistake so he tells him that it's not his fault he did a good job regardless and he'll go on to do great things jim then hugs him and Cy was Aww. like uh there there buddy then sends him off to bed this was all seen by the homo arachnid who was up the top homo arachnid. then we cut the next morning which i feel like shouldn't be a thing in space it should either be consistent lighting or super inconsistent yeah, how they work i mean i guess if they're near a sun it might work like have their own day cycle but it wouldn't be like our day cycle where it's the same time consistent lighting because they can huh. travel between stars really fast so they're always either close shit. or far from a star so like weird last lighting all the time depending on how fast they're traveling you know what i mean but then they could also have artificial lighting on the boat itself to help True. with the circadian rhythm but that's assuming every single creature on this boat has the same sleeping patterns as each other why am i diving too deep into this, this yeah, that's deep as hell, bro. moving on next morning okay jim wakes up and morph is fucking with him he morphed himself into his shoe and stole his real one because he wants to play around a bit he eventually Bruh. gets it and then chases morph around the boat a bit and they end up in the galley jim finds morph in one of these sci-fi food barrels then once he's in there he hears some of the crew walk in one of them oh, is silver shit. so he keeps morph quiet while he spies on them spider bitch tells silver that he's gone soft telling him that he saw him with the boy last night but Silver says he only said that stuff to the boy to keep him off their scent. Oh. The Dominus tells him again to wait for the right moment to uh, take over the ship and find the treasure themselves and shit. Then they get a call yeah. from outside saying their planet is ahoy and they rush to see that they're Marine. a treasure planet. Let's go. They all run out to take a gander, but Silver wants to take a better look using his mono binocular or is it mono? monocular? Because bi in the word stands for two, so it's like whatever. He wants to get the. First off, why the hell are they using that shit in future shit? Why don't you have binoculars? Like two? Because you got two. Some shit. 
looking at far things but up close pirate glass thing that is on this table inside the Ooh. galley with Jim that totally was not there when Jim first entered and when Silver left so it just magically appeared there like somebody the other placed on this other table that I'm pretty sure also appeared there that Jim grabs the scissor knife thing Ooh. from and stabs Silver in his air suspension leg when he comes down wow. after he realized that he was in there when they had this small meeting and he heard everything they talked about and Jim realized that he knows that he knows and that he might attack him so he stabbed him in the leg and he ran away into the captain's quarters locked himself up there where dog cat duo is Silver limps out on the deck and yells out change the plan boys we move and they all armed themselves and trying to break into the captain's Ooh. room while inside they took the map and blasted a hole through the floor jumped down and tried to make action the boats while the pirates are hot on their heels cat dog engaged in a firefight with them while simple puppy brain morph wants to continue playing with jim so he takes Bro, the map that... and flies around they okay both... is that thing actually the arrow words it, what is wrong with this thing is it stupid is it deficient what is wrong with that now is that the time you little fuck run into silver and morph gets stuck in between them silver surfer going, come here boy come here come on come to papa like those videos where two loving dog owners leave the dog in between them and run to either side and see where the dog goes but the dog I... ends up getting super confused and exploding oh you didn't see that one i must have seen no. a different version then no anyway, morph doesn't do that i've never seen that one <laughs> he jumps in hides into this <laughs> rope room jim gets it at first and takes the map runs away to nice. the long boat silver points the gun at him but can't bring himself to take the shot jim jumps into the boat and they drop out of the he has feelings the for him turns on the boat and they try to fly away but one of the pirates takes a cannon shot at them and takes down their sails oh, sending them tumbling shit. down to treasure planet they punch through some mushrooms and crash but landing the, waifu. the only person that is even somewhat hurt throughout this whole exchange is captain claw she's like bruised and also probably got a bad knock on the head which explains why hey, okay listen this fucking doctor dude needs to chill out he's been trying to get that a bit delirious right now. They Crash. find out that the map Jim yeah. caught is not actually the yeah, map, no, but Morph no. who morphed into the shape of the map to fuck with Jim. And <laughs> you know like, fuck's sake, Morph, you stupid floating liver. Captain Claw, despite Kill her delirium, thing. is still wise enough to give Jim a weapon and order him to go scout ahead and find a safe place for them to hide because the pirates are coming down to look for them. So as she starts to feel the pains of her wounds, he goes off to search for that place. And on his search, he finds a hundred year old robot that is oh, super shit. happy to finally see another living creature. Since he's been alone for all this time, he has literally well, lost his mind. His primary memory is gone. So. And extended periods of solitude makes it kind of go a little bit crazy. He also blabbers on about Captain Flynn's treasure that is hidden Captain somewhere Flint. inside his planet that he helped hide but can't remember too much about it because again he literally lost his mind then mm. he helps jim find a safe place which turns out to be the place that he called home for the past hundred years mr wolf and okay Captain well Meow come listen over. bro this might be a safe place but it's not very well hidden it's the only thing sticking at the ground brother he keeps sending to her wounds then then the robot dude sort of nullifies this help ben. he gave them because he sees the pirates that are searching for them in the distance and mistakes them for more of their friends and is like hey look more of your buddies hey guys over here and obviously oh, they start God. shooting at them jim fires back but then silver calls for a short truce to talk about shit which makes jim realize that silver still thinks that the map is with them so he goes down there to meet him he limps up on his now fucked leg to some middle ground to talk to jim he apologized to him for what he said about him in the galley telling him he didn't mean any of that stuff he only said that stuff so they wouldn't think he'd gone soft then tries to convince him to give him the map telling him that so this guy is trying to convince jim that he hasn't gone soft that he's gone soft we're also trying to convince his crew that he hasn't gone soft okay he will give i feel like the spider is gonna betray him <laughs> like, go fuck yourself old man so silver gets really angry and yells at him tells him that if he does not give him the map by dawn tomorrow he'll blow them up using the ship's cannons and walks uh -huh. away really angry and scary and he was so scary during that whole conversation that morph refused to go with him and stayed with jim that night captain Damn. claw gets more delirious and super horny she's like i can just get lost in those dreamy eyes of yours doctor I always let's go doctor like. she's lost her mind then what? jim who's trying to come up Come on, doctor, she got the fatty though. With a plan that doesn't involve them dying. Sees Ben reveal a secret back door to this place that leads into the machine image the of this planet. Which gives him an idea. Door. He's like BRB and then goes in with Ben. He finds his way around this, I'm only assuming, labyrinth of machinery, probably using the help of Ben, to where the pirates are camping and opens the hatch next to them oh, and find them all asleep. He then details his plan to Ben. They're gonna take the pirates longboat, go up to the ship, disable the laser cannons, find the map, and come back down. Which is a completely shit plan, Imho, because you're gonna have to come back down and deal with the pirates anyway. So why yeah, not true. take the feline canine couple in the making up there with you? Come on, your yes. ship, go away get some space cop yoink the ship and just leave Alter or back up or whatever then come back because without the map silver won't make any headway he find the treasure and he can't leave because he doesn't have a longboat so yeah. stupid plan you dumbass Eat. whatever they go ahead with it anyway rise up to the ship <laughs> ben goes to disable the laser cannons while jim finds the map but oh, while he does that ben yeah. is just unplugging random shit because he's a retard that doesn't know what he's doing accidentally <laughs> sets off the alarm which alerts that arachnid <laughs> who was left there to guard the oh, ship shit, the of jim who he chases but jim has a gun then dumbass ben cuts the lights the emergency lights come on they both had good opportunities to take each other out here but they didn't whatever ben then disables guy an, by accident it's a cartoon. fly out to the deck and almost off the ship jim hangs onto the flag while spider Eat. tries to rip the flag rope really slowly although Ooh. he totally has the capability to snap it just like he did yeah, with the arrow didn't he, yeah exactly he did the same shit with the, the rock dude but he does a classic i'm gonna kill you really slowly because i'm a villain i want to rub it in your face ah, okay Move, which ends up shit. because jim jumps onto the mast rackton tries to go for him but he kicks him into the flag and Ooh. because the rope is weak because of his own doing it rips and he flies off into space and is never seen again puppy dies easy though for jim ben turns the gravity back on and comes nice. out like Laser cannon disconnected. good kda 
How do you know that if all this was done by trial and error and nothing was labeled? Did you try the cannons out? Also, I feel like if he comes out draped in a spaghetti of wires like that, the ship should be falling <laughs> to the ground right now. There's definitely something wrong with it. But anyway, they get back down to Trolley. go to their hideout and find out what that did you do? Come up and captured the captain and Doctor Dog and oh, captured shit. them too. My plan was better. Just I mean, to... yeah, that was not not who, who nobody's surprised by this. Thing. Then forces Jim to open the map because he's the only one that knows how, and it starts pulsating a GTA-like waypoint beacon in the direction of the treasure. So it's like dead space. To follow the waypoint, they trek through the jungle and shit, still following the waypoint till they get to the end of the directions, which ends. Wait, in nothing. why are they bringing them though? Is literally off a cliff. So they all get oh, mad at Jim that this is somehow his fault. But then he finds a map shaped hole in the ground, so he plugs in his balls. I mean, the ball map. And a big Illuminati triangle portal opens up with a big selection hologram orb to pick wherever what you want to go, fuck? anywhere in space. He fingers around a it's band, a goes teleporter? to places, goes to his home planet spaceport, figures this is how Captain Flint got around the galaxy so fast, seeing people's shit. Then remembers Ben was Tom about the treasure being at the centroid of the mechanism. So he selects the treasure planet's core, and it opens up a portal to the treasure which covers the mechanical planet's core. They all step in and set off a booby trap laser that for some reason is a delayed reaction booby trap and not instant because because movie has to movie, there has to be some time for them to take in the size of the treasure and be happy for a second what? before they realize the place is going to fall apart and do a dramatic escape. You know the drill. So they're all yeah. in there and they're okay. all in awe of the loot of a thousand worlds. Okay, Silver so, so, so yeah, seems like uh, it's a uh, usual Disney shit where it tries to capture you more on visuals rather than, you know, story making sense and, you know. That he doesn't notice that Jim and yeah. Ben are wandering off to go to Captain Flint's ship that's on the distance where they find Captain Flint's skeletal remains oh, and Jim what finds him he? holding what seems to be the missing piece of Ben's brain. And while Ben is rambling on about a very important detail about this place that he, for the life of him, cannot remember at all, Jim plugs in his missing piece and all the memories start flooding back into his brain. He's like, oh, I remember now. Flint, no normal now? To steal his treasure, so he rigged this place to blow if anybody stepped foot in it. And what does he says that the planet starts lasering his core and itself apart. Some of the Fire crew die and some flee as Jim orders oh, to go help the dog. Hey, people are actually dying, but probably and while off screen, right? Hotwire this old ship back to life and fly out with it because he doesn't want to leave it empty handed. Silver sees this and hops on the ship, so Jim's like, Ungar, motherfucker, but then a laser hits the ship and knocks them both off. Jim on the swell that he's barely hanging on to, and so oh, that guy's gonna him save him. Onto the ship that's getting lasered that he's trying to save because he still wants whatever treasure he can get, but then he sees that Jimmy is struggling to hang on to the wall because the things protruding out of the wall are retracting in like a cold penis in winter, and he can't hold on to the ship and save Jimmy at the same time, so he makes the good guy decision of letting go of the ship Aww. and saving Jimmy. They make out of the portal and find Ben, Dog Duck, and Cat Cap commandeered the ship and came Cat over to help Cap. because Zilbert has weak bitch thin wrists and was able to free himself from the rope they tied him up in. And by that logic, Katito should also be able to free herself yeah, in the true. because she has way thinner wrists than even him. But or maybe they saw they didn't know that Dog Dude had thin wrists and they. I don't know. I guess it also I'm depends on how tight they uh, tied her hands up. Also, yeah. she's kind of hurt, so maybe she wouldn't have been as useful as him. But speaking of her hands, are those nails slash claws part of the glove she's wearing, or are they protruding out of the glove and are part of her hand? Is that a useless question to ask right now? Probably. Okay, Probably well, just, Silver get yeah. on, but then some of the planets debris takes a lot of those questions, solar right? sails and reduces their thrust capacity to 30%, then calculates how much time they have left before the planet blows up, which I have 110 with her. is not enough to get them away from the planet's blast radius. So Jim comment? starts thinking outside the box and in the triangle, thinking they can head back to the portal. He'll fashion a space surfboard out of this barely functional thruster and this piece of metal fly ahead and change the location to somewhere else they'll go through the portal and escape the plant's explosion that how are you gonna do that five seconds brother what Wait. So Silver helps him all this jet onto the piece of metal. He sets off. They turn around and follow okay. him. All the while, Ben keeps yelling out how much time they have left before the planet explodes. And as usual, it's wildly inaccurate to the actual timer of the movie. But whatever. Jim's board keeps cutting out on the way to the portal, and he almost dies by falling into this lava chasm pit. But then he sparks the jet engine back at life by scraping on the wall and rises up I, out of the chasm. Now I guess it works like that. Select his home planet spaceport, and they all get through the portal just in the nick of time to escape the explosion. Hooray! He makes it back to the ship. Big ups to him. But while everybody's celebrating, he notes that Silver has disappeared. So he oh, goes shit. down and sees him trying to escape using the last longboat. But he's nice guy so he lets him go for you know saving his life and being a father figure and whatnot. Morph doesn't want to leave Jim though so Silver gives him Morph. He also gives him a big hug then they say goodbye then he throws him Bro, fuck Morph. I don't want Morph. Morph is a dumbass. Some diamonds and gold. He pocketed from the treasure room last oh, second. Oh shit. He that so his mom can rebuild nice. her house. Then he leaves and jets off into space. Jim gets back to his mom. She rebuilds her house. Captain Claw and Dr. Dog fucking have abomination hey, babies. And yo! God damn that dude works fast. I mean cats I think they have like a a month and then they give birth. So his damn. Proud by becoming a space officer ranger type. Oh shit! Just have to get 17 nice. supernovas out of 86 kilograms of cocaine. Okay, listen. The most unbelievable part about it is that nobody banged the mom. Like, come on, bro, look at her. What the hell? Anyway, this uh, I'll, I'm gonna be honest with you. After this, I don't feel like I want to watch the movie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you. It, it does not have the best reviews, and that did not really hype me up for the movie at all. Like straight up, that did not look that fun. So if anybody's watched the movie, let me know what y'all think. Is it actually worth watching? Because, yeah. Anyway, uh, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all next time, okay? Bye, everybody.